from the park. Frankie, say hey. Hey. All right, guys, what we have here is the most important unboxing of our lifetime. I would say of today. Somewhere in between. Like this year, maybe? All right, yeah. It's okay. an important one for 2020. It is. We're talking about the mini bug out. Ooh. There it is. It's actually code 533. Not fancy. Well, the original is 535. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah. I guess I can go ahead and show them the label because we were talking about this. Nowhere on here does it say the color. It might in like the codes. Who knows? Maybe something says it somewhere. Do you guys know what color this is? Yes, it's blue class, but... Uh, what it's color is it? Well, it's it? totally different. Yeah, upon release, Benchmade has, has shown two models that they're doing, and they're doing them in what? I almost just used one finger. They're showing us two models. <laughs> two models, yes. Okay. No, they're showing us, uh, or they've introduced white and orange. Ooh. All right, which one is it? Right. Out of those two, I know which one you chose. Okay, well, they don't. Okay, let's this see. This is the unboxing reveal. Frankie, I didn't need any help. I'm making it go a lot faster. All right, go ahead. Hold on. Just oh my kidding. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just got this knife. We've not used it. See our lots of other bug out videos. We've, we've used the full size uh, quite a bit. It's one of my Too favorites. Too soon. What? what? Well, we have the other bug out over there that got lost in the woods for like a week. We retrieved it. We found it. We see those videos. It. Yeah, here it is. Orange. I had to get the orange, even though it's more of a U knife. We have to get the orange because if, if you lose it in the woods. I wouldn't actually lose it in the woods. You would lose it in the woods. Okay. I'm I, just saying. Officially, that's valid. All right. <laughs> There it is, guys. The orange is cool, too. It's kind of a tough call between which one to get, really. Well, because we're going to have to get both. Both. Yeah. This is the satin finish on this one. All right. It is S30V. Okay. And there it is. It's all of, well, it's less than three inches. I want to say it's... Uh, How big is he? 2.9 inch blade, somewhere like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As in, no, not at all. Yeah. Don't read into that, guys. He what is so think? cute though. What do you think? It really is just like my size bug out. It's perfect. The action straight out of the box is great. It is good, yeah. They're gonna wanna know. What? Well, okay. Good centering. Is there any blade play? Oh my gosh. I'm... We've not used it. No, that feels good. Nice, all right. What are you thinking? I actually really like the this orange thumb stud and the barrel spacers okay and what would actually be really cool is do a hybrid as i'm eyeing that one over there what she's talking about though is what we saw at shot show and in pictures some people were talking that they wish the barrel spacers uh and the thumb studs matched that the carpet matched the drapes oh my god what i'm just saying it kind of that's it's, what it sounded like you were going with. it's fine with me all right, the clip, is it the same? It looks the same. It does look the same. Let's bring the other ones over. All right. Just, you have them hog it. You're hogging them over there. So just bring them over. This is the one that was lost in the woods. Aww. Doesn't even look like it was lost in the no, woods. No, he doesn't. He for cleaned a up well. Week. There it is, guys. Now this one's the coated blade, the S30V. And that's what that white one has, too. So it's white with a black blade, which is kind of cool, too. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Is it the exact same sizes? It's the mini bug out, but it's really not that much smaller. Yeah. He's just like proportionally smaller. Well, the length, because everything about it is the same. Actually, let's show those clips. Okay. They are the same, aren't they? Yeah, they are. The clips are. Let's show them. Yep. Very deep carry, very popular clip. No logos or anything like that. I feel like you could possibly swap out the barrel spacer and the thumb studs onto another knife and then you could fully customize it yourself. Well, we have this one as well. Murdered out, y'all. But we could make it just a little hint of non-murdery. Put, put some orange, orange on here? It put, might look really good. Pop an orange on there. Pop an orange? I think we're going to have to do that. Frankie hands me the open knife. Well, you know, safety first. Don't look to this channel for <laughs> knife, knife safety. safety. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could. I think you might be able to. We might need to give that a try. It'd be kind of cool. All right. We're still messing around with the pivots, but there it is. The formerly blackout bug out. Not blackout anymore. 
I think it looks pretty good. It looks awesome. I like right. it a lot. Yeah, that's the mini hardware from the orange, but... Use the black on the orange. What do you guys think of that? Looks cool. I like it. Kind of like that. Well, it matches the, the, the additional hardware on it. Yeah, here. exactly. It looks like that's how it could be to start with. From the factory. Yeah. yeah. They well, look good together now, too. If you have multiple bug outs, you can do this kind of thing. It means collect them all. You can make your own Frankenstein inventions. Get it, Frankenstein? Mm -hmm. She's known to do this. Whenever we collect a knife, more than one of the same variety of knife, yeah. she swaps hardware and different stuff like that. Well, so. it makes them your own. You get to customize them. It's fun. Well, here, set them out. Let's just look like thumb studs there. Yeah. Which one do you like better? Mm. Yeah. It's like the Halloween edition. It is Halloween. This is almost if it had a black blade. Yeah, right. that'd be cool too. Well, I think this is going to be the first of many videos. Yeah. featuring the mini and yes we probably will have to get the white one as the well the second video will have the white one also we're gonna have um we're gonna have some frankenstein hybrid of combinations oh, yeah. what else do you have i have the mini griptilian all right as well, you can see is a quite a little bit smaller than that been around for a long time let's go ahead and show those two together i brought the pardue because the pardue really if, if you're looking at the bug out you should consider the pardue yeah it's 531 there you go. Yeah, look at that. Huh, interesting. Big difference here, though, is going to be... In the handle. Girth. Yeah. Frankie. Lots of girth on the mini Griptilian. The Griptilian, yeah. How much does this weigh? It seems like it'd be like nothing. Mm, we nothing don't, at we all. We didn't bring our scale? I can look them up. It's less than two ounces. I want to say these are about two ounces. Okay, let me see here. 1.8. Five. 1.5. Oh, I meant 1.5. 1.5, yes. And let's see, with the stats, handle thickness is 0.42. Handle thickness? Yeah. All right, yeah, so it's on the thinner side. We knew that. I think it's going to be the same between these. Guess what, lefties? Hmm. You can carry these also. Well, it's fully ambidextrous, <laughs> like a lot of Benchmates. Right, they really are. Fully ambidextrous. Maybe, like, maybe there's a lot of lefties that work at Benchmade. Maybe I don't that's know. it. I don't know. Or maybe there's more in Oregon. Guys, of course, these are 100% USA made. Oh my gosh, jeez. Where does it say that here? Am I missing it? It doesn't say? Maybe on the, yeah. Oregon there. Handle with care. Handle with care. Knives are sharp. Well, that's true. Don't leave it out in the park. It wasn't the park, Frankie. It was the remote woods. Yeah. I think that's the only thing that you kind of notice with it is that the action needs to be greased up a little bit more. That action's not as good? Yeah, not as good. Just it's because little, he's been... It's a little woodsy. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe it's the pug hair that is in it. That will develop on our knives, yeah. <laughs> Look at all the pug hair. Out of the box. Um, very good action on that. Yeah, it really is. Really good. All right. Well, there's some of the Benchmade's. Um, very good choice for all around users. And actually this one. Did right. we see the cost of it? Did we? I don't know. I don't know. There, this one's got my edge. It's a little bit used, but. The orange is 119. This one. And then the black and white one is 136. Okay. And you can do a pre-order for them right now. Yeah, um, at the time that we're releasing this video, they're just on pre-order at Blade HQ. Some people already have them, but it was, uh, they sold out real quick. Wow, that action is really good. It's nice, yeah. Um, start chipping away at it with your five dollars. <laughs> you know, you'll thank um, yourself. No, when they you'll come in. you'll reserve one. We'll put the links in. Thanks for using those, but yeah, mm -hmm. definitely get one. I really like them. As as a gift knife, yes. As a gift yeah. knife, yes. Um, just you know, know who you're giving them to. Like, you gave knives. away one of ours. Yeah, uh, the blue serrated one. For yeah. those that have seen those videos, yeah. That was a gift to a fellow YouTube channel mm -hmm. that does uh, camping videos, and he was just a prime candidate to get into knives. Yeah. So uh, the bug out's perfect for him. It is a good one. It yeah. really is. Yeah. But the mini, I don't awesome. know. Awesome. Small hands. Lady Frankie. carry. Lady carry. Yeah. Frankie small hands. It's just everything that is awesome about the bug out. Just a mini. Just a version. little shortened. Yeah. And this will qualify for uh, various stupid knife laws. Yeah, he's under three inches. If you have them. Ooh, that means I will carry him to work tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, so already, see, this is kind of weird. It's mine. I know. I chose orange, and then it's your knife, though. Well, it is my knife. You know that. Yeah. It's I mandatory. Choice. White one, too. 
What do you guys think? And should we do the, the barrel spacer thing? I think we really need to. Maybe and we should do that when I get home. The thumb studs. Are those torques? Yeah. They are. That looks like a, what, T6 or even smaller. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a swap when we get home. Okay. You know this would have been a good excuse to actually use bench-made <laughs> tools. <laughs> Let's try that true. again and have it upside. Okay. Guys, let us know. Did you get one already or do you have one on reserve? Yeah. But the bug out, the mini bug out. Okay. The what? original bug out was a hit. Yes. The blue. All right. It was destined to get uh, a different version. Yeah, it was. It really was. You so, know what I could see too? Hmm. An even bigger version. Different than the bailout because the bailout's kind of similar but different, but just a bigger version of the I feel bug like, out. I feel like somebody at Benchmade, they called a meeting and they're like, guess what? We did the mini. Mm -hmm. What about? The big bug out. Big bug. Big Bertha. <laughs> big Bertha bug out. Yeah. I don't know. You could come up with a few different names She's for it. She's running out into the woods. Ew. Naked. No. I don't know. No. I don't know why Where I said did that. you go? Why did you go that way? Why? Anyway. Jeez. What do you guys think? Should they make a big version though? Why not? Yeah. The mini's cool. Mm hmm I love it. All right. Get one on reserve if you don't already. Yeah. And that's about it. I think we're going to go for a walk. It is nice out. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.